Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video please make sure that you are subscribed that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below so for today's video we're going to be doing a word study on the word strength the word strength and we're going to be looking at a couple of meanings of the word strength and I'm also going to be using my Strong's Concordance for this study because a few people have asked me to use it to, you know, that I should show them how I use my Strong's Concordance. So we're going to have a look at the word strength. My main verse for today is going to be from Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. I'll be going through all these coloured areas uh, throughout the course of this word study but we're going to be the main verse I'm looking at is Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 but for this particular study I'd like to have a look at the first mention of the word strength in the Bible because there is something called the law of first mention so you look at the original meaning as it is first mentioned in the Bible so we're going to have a look at Genesis chapter 4 verse 12 Genesis chapter 4 verse 12 so Genesis chapter 4 verse 12 and I've got I'm using the New King James Version and it says, when you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. Now, this particular verse is taken from uh, where Cain killed his brother Abel. Um, because Abel provided a better sacrifice than Cain did. And Cain wasn't happy about it. And he kills his brother Abel. And, you know, God said that the blood of his brother was crying out for, from the ground. And then God told um, Cain that the, the earth, where you plant your food, where you grow your vegetables, where you get your sustenance, where you, you know, where you get your food from, the earth, the ground, when you till it, when you farm, it will no longer yield its strength to you. So let's have a look at that word strength from Genesis chapter 4, verse 12. So I've already got it written out here. OK, um, we are going to use the Strong's Concordance. Genesis chapter 4, verse 12. We're going to the Hebrew word um, and number 3581. So let me get it here. So I've gone into my Strong's Concordance and I have looked up the word strength. I'm sure that you can see it there. Let me just move the camera a bit. Yeah. And there we go. There is the word strength. And here is a part of the verse, Hebrews 4.12. Henceforth, yield unto thee her strength. So then you've got, let me get my ruler. You've got Genesis chapter 4, verse 12. And then you've got the Strong's reference number, which is 3581. 3581. And then you take that number. And then you go to the back of your concordance into the Hebrew section, because Greek is the New Testament. You go into the Hebrew section and you look for 3581, which I've already marked. There we go. So you've got 3581. And then you've got the meaning in the Hebrew. And then you've got it written out in the Hebrew and the meaning the root meaning it's an unused root meaning to mean firm vigor 
or literally a force in a good or a bad sense. Or figuratively, you've got it means capacity, it means to produce. And then following on, it will give you definitions of the of this word uh, based on different verses, different stories, different scenarios in the Bible. So let me just scroll that out and then you can see here is all the different words, different scenarios, different stories where this particular word, koak, I think it is, I'm just pronouncing it in my English, or koak, where that version of the word strength is used. Okay, then you have different versions of the word strength. Now, I've got a book that I got years ago. I bought this book in 1994 so that's what 28 years ago or so something like that and this book was written by Marilyn Hickey and it's a book that gives you an overview or meaning of Hebrew words and I'm not sure if this is even still in print but I'm going to use it for this uh, study and it gives you a really, really good overview of the word strength. If it's on Amazon or if I can find a link for it, I will definitely put it in the description box below. But this book is quite old and I do use it if I'm doing a word study. So for this book, uh, the book says strength and it's using giving um, Psalms 29 verse 11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. And that's Psalms 29 verse 11. Now, the meaning of strength here is Azaz. The Hebrew root for strength has powerful meanings. Okay, Azaz. So there are different Hebrew words and root words for the actual meaning of strength. In English, it means one thing, strength. But in Hebrew, depending on how you're using that word, it has different meanings. So, for example, um, let's have a look. So, in it means hero. So, if you look at uh, 2 Samuel 6.14 and Judges 5.21, it means heroes. So it's those who have been strong spiritually and morally will be heroes to succeeding generations. In Judges 9.51, it means security. Strength and security go hand in hand to give a hand to pilgrims of the way. It means defence and refuge. If you look at Psalms 28 verses 7 and 8. Through the big waters, sorry, though the big waters are troubled, God's children should never be. And you can also look at Psalms 46, 1 and 2. So the root carries in it the idea of praising. Psalm 68, 34. He whose excellency, excellency is over Israel shall have the praise of Israel. And then you've got the root is used to describe activity in deep waters. Isaiah 43, um, sorry, Isaiah 43, 16. We will be in deep waters often and then desperately need God's strength. So in English, one word can mean one or two things. But in Hebrew, there are a variety of meanings and interpretations of one word. So it's really important that you use your Strong's Concordance or if you have other books that can help you with the meaning of a specific word or you have an app um, that you can use to help you with the meaning of specific words. So that's strength there. In the English dictionary, strength means the quality or state of being strong, power to resist a force, 
a degree of potency of effect or concentration. So it's the quality or state of being strong. That's what it means in the English. That's what the word strength means in, in the English. So let's have a look at Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. So Nehemiah, an overview of ne Nehemiah chapter 8, it records Ezra's reading and instructing and instructions of God's laws to the people and the celebrating of the Feast of Tabernacles. The celebrating of the Feast of Tabernacles. So Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 has is highlighted based on Ezra's instructions to the people based on God's law. So let's have a read of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to the Lord. Do not sorrow. For... The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So let's have a look at what the word, the Hebrew word for strength is based on Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Okay, so we've got our word strength here and we're going to look for Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 so you go through and you're looking for there we go so here is Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 I'll zoom in so you can see that Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. I hope you can see that. So you've got, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And it's Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. And the Hebrew, the Strong's reference is 4581. 4581. So then you go to the back with your reference number. 4581. Okay, so your reference is here. 4581 and then you will see the meaning of the word strength based on Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 so I've taken the liberty of writing out what that word means so Hebrew reference 4581 is more I'm not sure if I've uh, pronounced that correctly but uh, forgive me for that but that's the that's the re root word and it means a fortified place, a defense, a fortress. So when Ezra was talking to the people, he was telling them that the joy of the Lord is a fortified place. It's a protected place. It's a place that is your defense. It is a fortress. It is a place of safety. So when we're feeling maybe that things are not going the right way or things are difficult, we must ask the Lord for his joy because it will strengthen us. It will fortify us. It will be a place of defense. It will be a fortress for us. So that's the word strength based on Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. And then we have other verses here that have the word strength in them. So I'm going to put these verses and I might add some more actually. I'm going to put these, um, I'll either put it in a graphic or it will be at the bottom in the description box below because there's quite a few. And um, what I'll, I'll either put it in a graphic um, that you can download or I'll just put them at the description box in the description box below. But there are a lot of verses here. And this was just some that I collect, uh, that I wrote out from Exodus and I just did it to Psalms. But I'm going to get some verses from the from the um, New Testament as well. Based on the word strength. Strength. 
So I pray that this video ministered to you. I pray that you got some insight into the word strength. And I pray that I've used the Strong's Concordance and a couple of other books that I have that will help you with the Hebrew word. And I pray that ministered to you and that it whet your appetite for you to go out and really get into your Strong's Concordance and into different books that will help you with the understanding of verses in the Bible or key words in the Bible for you to do your own word study. Okay, so God bless you and I will see you in my next video. God bless.